Hey guys, what is up? I'm so excited to be talking to you guys today. I finally got my computer stuff in control and today I'm going to be having a holiday look for you guys. So even though Christmas is over, New Year's is soon and this is an easy look that you can do for any parties. So I'm starting off with the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser by Maybelline and I'm just priming my skin with that. And I really love this primer because it just smooths over my skin. And then I'm going over it with my Stay Matte from Amal which I've been using for months. It's my favorite. And now I'm using my MAC Prep and Prime and I'm going to color correct my dark circles under my eyes and all of my little pimple scars that are going on. I don't really know what's going on with my skin. It's kind of having a bad day, but color correcting and make sure that everything looks flawless once I put my foundation over it. And then of course I'm just blending everything out with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm using my Stila Natural Finish Foundation and my Infallible by L'Oreal and I'm mixing those two together to get the perfect shade and then I'm just going to paint that all over my face and then I'm going to blend everything in with a beauty blender. Just to make sure that everything's buffed into my skin, I like to buffer it out with a Real Techniques buffing brush and this just makes sure that everything gets into my skin and since I have oily skin, I don't want to be shiny. Now I'm using one of my favorite concealers, I can't remember the name of it but everything will be in the description below and basically I'm just blending it out with my fingers and then blending it out with the Beauty Blender. And this product, it's really thick concealer, but I love this concealer because it always hides my under eye circles and I can really count on it. Now I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, I don't know what color this is in, but everything will be in the bottom below. And I'm just going to use this to cream contour. And I decided to buy this because I saw that a lot of um, makeup gurus were using this and I actually really like it. And then I'm just blending everything out with the Beauty Blender, of course. And now I'm just going to set under my eyes and my whole face with um, a loose powder. Any loose powder is fine, really. Now for my favorite part, I'm going into my Anastasia uh, World Traveler's palette and I'm using Morocco and Fudge in my crease and I'm just going to get that all in my crease with the Real Techniques shadow brush and then I'm going to buff it out with a little bit of Morocco on a Real Techniques uh, Dome Deluxe Crease brush, I think that's what it's called, and I'm just buffering everything out. And then I'm getting some of that color on my bottom lash line too. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D eyeliner, tattoo eyeliner in Trooper. And I'm in love with this eyeliner. I just got it, got it recently. I can't talk today. Just got it recently and I completely love it. It's It dries matte and the felt tip just goes on so easily. So I'm really loving this eyeliner. And I'm just getting a really thin wing going on. Now I'm just going to curl up my lashes and I'm going to start with my whole mascara routine and this is, well my first layer is the Rommel London Wonder Lash with Argan Oil. Absolutely favorite mascara to just start off everything. It just separates my lashes. It gets a bit of product on there and the Argan Oil is also really good for your lashes. So I feel like whenever I'm using it, I'm doing a good thing for my lashes. Now I am grabbing my Rimmel London mascara, I cannot remember what this is called, but it's that thick brush one, but everything will be in the bottom below, and I like to use this one to completely darken up my lashes and just add a bit more volume. It's not a separating mascara though, when I first bought it I actually absolutely hated it, but now that it's had a bit of time to dry out, I kind of like it because I can control it more, and I think that it completely finishes off my whole mascara routine properly and just gives me beautiful lashes without falsies. Well, 
last but not least I'm going to contour using my NYX uh, deep tan bronzer and I'm just gonna start off by adding some color on those cheeks and kind of setting my cream contour now I'm taking a bit of a darker contour color which you're gonna see in like five seconds and this is from Ramel 2 it's a little color wheel that they have and I like to kind of take a flat top brush and just get that in my cheekbones and just create a line but blend it out now I'm just buffering everything else so everything is blended and beautiful and then I'm contouring down my nose with that same darker Ramel London bronzing wheel whatever it is and i'm just going to clear off any product in the middle so this just makes my nose look like i have a bridge now i'm taking my revlon powdered bl blush in wine and i'm just adding that to the apples of my cheeks now i'm taking my physician's formulas uh glow pearls in beige pearl and this is a great dupe for the mary luminizer and i'm just guiding that on the tops of my cheeks down the middle of my nose and on the very tip of my nose and now I'm finishing off with my MAC lipstick in persistence and this is my favorite matte finish lipstick and thank you guys so much for watching make sure to thumbs up subscribe share this video with your friends and there's gonna be a ton more videos coming up soon so I hope you had a great holidays Merry Christmas Happy New Year's and yeah I'll see you guys later peace out